so hello good people welcome again to my youtube channel please uh, remember to subscribe share like the videos comment something on the comment section or you can also say something that you like me to discuss about so today i feel like we need to talk about tenders there are so many types of businesses in kenya or around the world there are some people who put up businesses like shops, grocery stores, uh, car dealers, wholesalers, and uh, those are type of businesses. There's another business called tenderpreneurship. There are those people, you ask them, what do you do? They tell you, I'm a tenderpreneur. So that word might confuse, confuse many people because not many people know what tenderpreneurship is all about. So today I feel like we need to talk about tenderpreneurship. Uh, tenderpreneurship is involved in the business is 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 a uh, is handled by a section of people in a company, either a government or a private institution called procurement. You know, in every institution you have to purchase. In every institution, even in the house, you have to purchase. As in purchasing means what? You have to buy, either for consumption or for reselling or for manufacturing. So that section of a company that deals with buying raw materials, expenses, things that are required, direct or indirect expenses, that section of a company or that department in a company that deals with buying or purchasing is called the procurement department. So these procurement people, they buy and they buy to, they, they have their criteria of saving the kind of people they need to buy from. So the process of buying for generation of profit or for manufacturing or for consumption is called procurement. Now, now the term tenders comes is is a word basically used by the people from the procurement department. So they offer out tenders. Tender is like an offer. It's like you 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 are searching for for viable people to supply to you. So when procurement people want to buy, they just don't buy from anybody. They have their criteria of saving the people that they need to buy from. One whether that person is qualified to supply that person has the ability to supply and that person has a formal kind of business where they can be able to trace if there's any problem with their goods supplying so tenders pro procurement people offer out opportunities to people out there to supply to them the things that they need you might need furniture you might need construction materials you might need computers, you might need food supply, you might need animal feeds, anything that any department, either government, non-governmental institution, as long as it's a company, the process of the procurement people purchasing or offering that opportunity for people from outside to buy from them is what we call procuring. And the process of offering is what we call tendering out or giving out the opportunity for people to be able to explain or justify themselves that they're able to supply a b c d so that is basically what you call tenders tenders is the opportunity given out to kenyans and non kenyans and everybody out there to be able to explain and to justify themselves and to prove to compete with fellow business people that they're able to supply certain kind of commodities there are so many kind of tenders for example, an institution wants to buy something that is not readily available and only one company has that commodity. So you don't float out for any competition. You do something they call direct tender. You, 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 you source that commodity from one specific entity. That is direct. But now, because of uh, the things, things concerning fairness, giving equal opportunities to everybody, trying to make sure that the, 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 the business does not only go to the light and things like that. The government saw it good that they don't do direct procurement. They don't buy, they don't source things from the, from the, the manufacturers directly. 
they give other Kenyans the opportunity to grow and to build themselves by doing the tendering thing. So I think right now, most of the tenders, most of the procurement system, most of everything in the government, in the parastatals, in the government institutions, and some of the public, the private institutions, they don't do direct, they don't do direct procurement. They don't do, they don't, they don't source the goods themselves. What they do is they advertise that we need laptops, we need laptops of such and kind of specifications. Then once they have advertised that kind of an opportunity, they say, they give they give uh, the requirements, what they expect from the person who is supposed to supply for them. One, for you to be able to do procurement, for you to be able to do tendering, you have to have a legit business. How can you determine that a business is legit? You have to be registered. The business has to go, has got to have a registration certificate. Just like a person has to have an ID. A business has got to have an ID. The ID of a business is called a registration certificate. The thing, the other thing, especially for the government, you are not, you cannot be able to, to, to supply to the government if you are not a good taxpayer. So that that uh, that um, that registered business that has a registration certificate has got to have a PIN certificate. And then after a PIN certificate, a PIN certificate is a, is a, is a document showing that you are uh, you are uh, your documents, I mean your entities registered with the Kenya Revenue Authority. Then with the Kenya Revenue Authority, for them to prove to the procurement people, to the pro procuring people that you are a good taxpayer, they give you something that is called a tax compliance. A tax compliance certificate is a document that shows that you are you are a compliant person. You pay your revenue. You pay the dues that the government is expe expects you to pay to the government. There's no way the government can give you business if you are not registered, if you don't have a bid certificate, and you are not compliant to the Kenya Revenue Authority. Remember, the government gets money from the revenue that they collect from the people and the companies. And so they use that money to procure. So there's no way they're going to return money to some people who are not compliant to the revenue. So you have to go the business registration, PIN certificate, and then the tax compliance. Then any entity in Kenya now, the, the, in Kenya we are divided into groups. We have the counties. Every entity has got to belong into a certain county. You either belong to Nairobi County, Mombasa County, Kisumu County, uh, Jacobs County, Makueni County, something like that. So we had divided into different groups, in, in different the, the, the partitions in the region of Kenya is divided into counties. So where your business is registered, where you operate from, your registered office or address, you're supposed to, you operate in a county. So another very important document you're supposed to have is something that we call business permit it is a county permit it is it is the, the the local government giving you the authority to operate to conduct your business they also have the right to know whether you're doing legal and something and you are, you, you, you are binding by the rules of the county so they give you a county permit so one of the criteria when the people are procuring, they will ask for they will ask for your business registration, as I've said, the PIN certificate, the tax compliance, and also the county permit. Now, in procuring, the government has seen that they should also give an easy way for some of the disadvantaged people to be able to supply with that much, without much strain. They have favored the people, the youth, women, and the people with disability. You have to get a, a, a certificate that shows you are a youth, you are a woman, or you are a person living with disability. And with that kind of certificate, your way, the requirements are, they are easy. They are not that, that strict. They don't ask for things like, uh, uh, where have you supplied before? Or... They don't ask for your financial statement for the last 10 years because, of course, you have not been in existence for the last 10 years. So there's something that is called the AGPO certificate. AGPO certificate is a certificate given by the National Treasury 
it shows that you are a person, either youth, woman, or a person living with disability. And for you to be able to get that company, if your company is a limited company, the shares of the person that is getting these disadvantaged group certificate for youth, women, or people with disability has got to have 70% of the shares of the company. Let's say I have a company and I'm 50 years old. For me to get um, a certificate from the National Treasury for AGPO with my, for, for a woman, let's say I incorporate my wife as a, as an a co-director. For me to get a certificate for the disadvantaged groups under women, I, my wife has to get 70% of the shares. If, if I am for 50 years and I have a, a co-director who is a youth, the youth who is supposed to be below 35 years has got to get the 70% of the shares of the company. For sole proprietors where the company's, the business name is simply belongs to one person, for that person to be able to get the AGPO certificate, you have to be, you have to, if, if it's a youth, if you are a youth, you have to be 35 years and below. And then if, for women, you directly have to be a woman for you to get a women's certificate for AGPO. And then for people living with a disability, you have to get a, a, an ID. You register with the people, with a group from the people living with a disability where they give you that, 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 that ID. And then you use that ID to get the certificate from the National Treasury and the people who live with a disability. They are called PWD. So that is another certificate that you need. And again, uh, when, 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 you are, when you're looking for business, it's just like when a person is looking for a job. You get you, you, you take your CV. You tell people about yourself. When were you born? Your experience? Where did you go to school? What have you done? What are you able to do? What are your strong points? Things like that. For a company, there's something that we call the business profile. Business profile basically takes, talks about your company, about your entity. It tells us when was your, when was your company formed, uh, for how long have you been, where have you supplied, or what jobs have you done. And then it also talks about uh, the organizational structure of your company, who is the director, who is the manager, the chain of command and things like that. In that business, you also tell us the kind of businesses that you do. Maybe you just concentrate on, on uh, supply of hardware materials, or you do electrical materials, or you supply furniture and fittings, or you supply, um, or you, 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 are, you are a service provider, you do cleaning services, security services, or, or you do construction. Under construction, there are so many categories. There is building works, there is road works, there is water works, there is mechanical works, there is electrical works. So you, 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 your business profile basically tells us about your company. So we go back to the people who are offering the opportunities. Those are the things that they will require from you. I said they will require your registration certificate, your PIN certificate, your tax compliance, your business permit. If you are if you are a, if you are a, if you are, your company is a construction company, you have to be registered with the National Construction Authority. The National Construction Authority verifies you, goes through your documents, and sees that you are fit to do construction works. Then they give you a license, and they also they give you a certificate, an operational certificate to operate. The, the, National, the National Construction Authority certificates and um, licenses are renewed by the end of June every year. So if you want to go and look for a construction job, of course you have to be registered with the National Construction Authority, have their license and their certificate. If you are a person living with a disability, you have to get that ID, get a, 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 be registered with the National Treasury under the uh, disadvantaged group of the PWDs. So guys, this tendering job has made many people very rich. It is a very good opportunity because most of the time it is like you're an intermediary. You don't have to be a manufacturer. Let's say somebody needs uh, something like this, 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 this headset for the, for the office. The government does not allow their, 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 their institutions, the parastatals and all other groups to buy directly from the manufacturer. So they will give that opportunity to the citizens, to the people who with companies who are registered and you have qualified the criteria that I've just said, to buy from them. 
to the intermediaries is me and you and the other people with the registered companies. So they, they will float that they need this kind of form. And then many people will bring their documents, the, the documents that they have said that they need. And then they will save. Once your document is qualified to supply, then they will look at the person who was offered to supply with the least price. So you will get there is A company limited, there's B company limited, C company limited, D company limited. They have offered to supply this kind of form to that government institution. So the first thing that institution, that the, 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 the procuring entity will do is first go through your documents to see whether you are truly a viable, registered, and qualified company. Once they have gone through all that, probably A Limited will be knocked out because they don't have a tax compliance. Probably B Limited will be knocked out because probably they don't have, uh, let's say, a county permit. So we will remain with probably B Limited, C Limited, and then between B and C Limited, they will look at who is offering to supply with the least price. Probably B Limited will supply at 10 shillings. C Limited will supply at 8 shillings. After your documents have been verified and they are okay, they look at the least, the, the, the lowest bidder, the person, the financial part of it, who is supplying with the least. Because every company wants to buy at a lower price. So that's where the competition comes. Where are you getting your commodities from? So probably C is getting directly from the manufacturer. Well, B has another broker who will broker it to supply the, the, the commodity to him so that he can take them to the procuring entity. So that is all it goes about the, 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 the tendering process. It is, uh, we could say that... Uh, um, just like the jobs, it is not easy to supply, but it is an opportunity where people can tap into. When things have gone right for you and you have the experience, you've gone around looking for the, the, the jobs, you, you, it becomes easier by day. You know people, you go there, you take your document, you follow up until you get the opportunity to supply or to offer the services. Again, it's so, so, so not easy. Just the way you go looking for a job and they ask you who sent you, who do you know? What do you have? Corruption is still there, and it is the part that makes it very hard for beginners to be able to get into this kind of business. So you you you, you just don't get tired about it. You wake up every day. You take your profile, your your document. You make it like you, a booklet. You, you you distribute it to different parastatals and different companies and different institutions. You go through there. You make a follow up until the the, the at the opportune time when they finally offer you the opportunity to supply. So that is that is all about tenders, the, the tendering process. So some of you will ask, uh, well, where are these opportunities found at? Probably you have registered your company, you have all the required documents that I just talked about. Then you will say, I've never gotten a job. Where do I get these jobs from? Now, uh, all, all government procurement, anything, be it Kenya Medical Training College, be it Kenya Ports Authority, Kenya Airways, be it uh, uh, the Defense, the, the Kenya Army, or the uh, Office of the Presidency, all government procurement, buying of anything that the government requires is advertised so if you have a company and you have all the documents that are required for your company to be legit once you have everything registered and you have your company where do you get these opportunities from there is something that we call the uh, ppr public procurement regular regulatory authority and this there is a the PPIP, Public Procurement Information Portal. Public Procurement Information Portal. You can Google that, Public Procurement Information Portal, PPIP. When you get into that portal, you it shows you all the opportunities that are there for people to supply. All the tenders are put there. All institutions, be it public universities, public institutions, all public institutions, 
all the tenders are advertised in the public procurement information portal. When you go there, you'll click at tenders. You will see the tenders that have expired. You will see the tenders, the, the jobs that are offered out. So it is for you to know what does your company do? What are you interested in? You look at the doc, the tenders that are advertised. You cannot do every tender. Most of these tenders have their own criteria. They have their own way of saving. Like for example, you, are not, you cannot be able to do security services if you don't have certain documents specifically for uh, security services. You cannot be able to do construction, for example, if you don't have the construction certificates. Which are the construction of uh, certificates? The ones that I said you have to be registered with the National Construction Authority. So you sit down with yourself. You say, yes, I want to do tendering. I want to be a tenderpreneur. You have registered your entity. You have all the legal documents. Now, you go again. You, 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 you specify yourself. You put yourself in a certain kind of line of business because you cannot do all business. You say, my company is going to be a cleaning company. So you get all the required documents for a cleaning company. For example, you have to have, as I said, registration, PIN, tax compliance, business permit, your profile, if you're a, if you're a, if you're a, a group, the disadvantaged group, you have to have agriculture for either for women, for youth, or for people living with disability, PWDs. You have that. What else do you need for you to be able to do cleaning jobs? You have you 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 have to register with the NSSF and NHIF because you're going to have employees. You have to pay their statutory deductions. Again, you need a formal means of communication. You have to have a phone company, a, 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 way, a formal means of communication like your your number for your company, a registered mail. I always advise people to go for the web mails because they have they are more secure and most of the government. Uh, Institutions require that you have a web mail, not the Yahoo or the Gmail. They mostly uh, prefer the info at probably Kenya Web, Safaricom, all those companies that offer those web mails. You have, uh, for you to have, you, you also ha have to be registered, especially for cleaning services, the hygiene services. You have to be registered with NEMA. Uh, NEMA is uh, National Environmental Management Authority. So you get a license or a registration certificate with NEMA. And then now you put these documents together and now go look at the public procurement information portal and see whether there are any cleaning jobs advertised there. You download that document. You go through it. Look at what they want. Do you have it? If you have it, print the document, prepare the document as per their instructions, give your offer price for provision of cleaning services for that particular institution. You, you make your document as per their, uh, the instructions, then present it to them as the way they want it to be presented. It could be online, it could be a document that is sealed in an envelope and submitted to the offices. Then they will go through your document. If you are the viable person, they will give you that opportunity. That is just an example. Maybe you are a supplier of uh, furnitures and fittings. Make a profile that shows you know all about furniture, you have a, a store, or you have that knowledge, and close all the required documents, go through the public procurement information portal, look at the portal, see the jobs that have been advertised for supply of furniture, download it, go through it, see whether the things that are required you have, put your document together, present to that particular institution, and then if you are the qualified person, they will give you that job. If you are not the qualified person, most of the time, and it is a requirement, this institution will tell you why they did not select you, why you are not qualified to get that job. That is the most wonderful part about trying these jobs, because every time you try and you don't get it, they tell you why you did not get it. Probably your, your tax compliance was expired. Probably your business permit was expired. Maybe you are not the lowest evaluated bidder. So that when you try this job and you fail, the next time you try, you're going to be able to know why you failed last time and improve on your mistakes. So that's all about trying these jobs. So I've said you look at the public procurement information portal. Also, all government all the tenders are also advertised, apart from the public procurement information portal. 
especially in the, in the daily papers, the Standard and the Daily Nation. They always advertise those jobs, especially on Tuesdays and on Fridays. When you are reading the daily paper, what do you go through? If you are a entrepreneur or in the business of supplying, that is one of the parts that you have to look at. After you have seen the political part of it, everything, the, the commercial part of it, on Tuesdays and on Fridays on the daily paper, you are going to see the tenders that have been advertised there by different institutions. Maybe the national government, maybe the, 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 the Kenya Defense Forces, maybe the the universities like Moy University, Jomo Kenyatta University, Kenyatta University, they will put their advertisement for opportunities to supply in the daily papers. That is number two. Still, you know these institutions by their names. You look at their portal or the website, you look at their portal. There is a section for resources and for procurement. You go and look at the tenders. All the portals for all institutions, they will also advertise their jobs there. We have the Kenya Revenue Authority, we have the Kenya Port Authority, we have the Kenya Maritime Authority, we have the, 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 uni, the public universities, we have all the parastatals and the institutions of the government. Look at their portals, they all have portals. You will find tenders advertised in their portals and you will see what kind of jobs they have advertised. If you find it is a business that is in line with your business, you would go in deeper into it, check it, see whether you are able to supply, see whether you are viable, you are qualified, and if you are, try it out, present your document, you never know. You might be just the one. So many people, I've seen people transform their lives because of these tendering things. And some of the strong people, some of the, the mighty people, the people you call the light in Kenya, have made it because of these tendering processes. I don't want to mention names, but some of the great and the, the, the people who know what is what and who say they have a, a say in this country have made it because of the tendering processes and the procurement thing. They are, they are tenderpreneurs. People like Jiggy are tenderpreneurs, Whiskey Ruby. Those are business people that know how to source for these opportunities and be able to to, 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 to offer their services and also supply goods and commodities and they and uh, they, they get their profit and go back home smiling with a very rich pocket. So that is where do you source the the the, 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 the opportunities from. Uh, guys, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for going through with me through the tender that, that explaining what tenders are, what is required and where the opportunities are found. Please like my video, share, like, comment something on the, the comment section, tell me something, ask any question, I'll make a video of it and explain. You could also tell me something that you would like me to talk about, especially in the tendering processes. I am rich and good uh, knowledge or information on the tendering processes. I also do tenders, people could, could uh, get my services to do tenders on their behalf, especially if they have the company and they have the required documents. If you want to register a company and you have to get, you you will, you will want to get all these required documents, you could also source for me. And uh, we begin. We, we register your company, we get all the required documents, you start offering your, 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 your your, 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 your services, you, 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 you go for these opportunities because they are there. They only need people who are a go-getters. Once again, thank you very much for listening to me. Until next time, take care and please subscribe, share, like, and say something on the comment section. Goodbye.